Hi, John and Amy. This is Sparky Parker. Um, we met, you gave me a demo of your uh, Fly, Fly Life Fitness uh, Megaformer a while back. I've been uh, negligent of uh, coming down and doing classes just because uh, I was, I uh, got some lung thing going on. And I'm just now starting to recover. Um, so I've just been basic, doing basic kind of Pilates, low level Pilates stuff. Um, but I, but I hope to get down there soon. But um, I sent you a uh, uh, a referral. Uh, I got a uh, a lead from my uh, PilatesColoradoSprings.com website. Lady wanted to. She was coming in on vacation from Atlanta and was looking for some Pilates classes to do uh, while she's here. So I sent them your way. So I got to thinking about you and I was wondering how things were going. And we had talked about uh, your website, and uh, so I went back and, and took a look at your website. Um, website looks great, by the way. Um, your, your, you said your sister did it, uh, put your website up, and it, it really looks good. But when I went and checked to see how your website was doing, um, as far as are, are people, you know, is it getting out there in the internet? Um, is it getting listed for anything? Um, will people be able to find you if they're looking for, um, you know, fitness classes or, you know, any anything in particular? I was, you know, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly uh, how people would find you searching the internet. And so the first thing I did was go and check out your what's called trust flow and citation flow and um, these are indications of the strength of your website and uh, how uh, how your how well you're accepted as the subject matter expert um, for the area that your content says you're trying to um, get a message out to people for and so basically you have a zero trust flow for local business a trust flow of about 10 is what you want citation flow is a little bit better but you know looking at uh, your backlinks they're all basically internal kind of backlinks you've got four referring domains And one of them's from me, <laughs> and uh, so you're getting some, you're getting a little bit of, uh, you're getting a little bit of uh, juice from me uh, with my trust flow of four and seventeen for my Pilates Colorado Springs website. Um, looking here at you got NimbleDeals.com, NimbleCommerce.com, and NimbleBuy.com. So basically, they're all the same kind of source. So you're not really getting any uh, any representation at all on the website. When I saw this, I said, "Well, there could be a problem here. Let's go on and 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 see why the search engines aren't giving you more credit." So I, I went to this site. It's called IsMySiteIndex.com, and basically, what it tells you is that you've got everything you need to do set up in the search engines Google and Bing it says Yahoo here too because Yahoo used to have free registrations but they uh, they just signed a deal with uh, Yext a couple of months ago and so now uh, it's a pay for registration but if you get registered with Bing you usually get in Yahoo as well so basically you want to get set up and get a sitemap submitted to both Google and Bing. So I did a run on your on your flylifefitness.com domain and you're not registered, uh, you're not being indexed in Google and Bing. So you need to be able, you need to get that done. You need to be able to submit a sitemap before the search engines will even um, consider you as a choice when people are searching for different keywords. So here's something else I noticed was if we search for Fly Life Fitness on Facebook, oh, one more point on, on this too. I went, when I saw that you weren't indexed on Google, 
I went back to Google Plus and saw that you haven't even you haven't been able to uh, you haven't gone into Google yet and registered your business and set up a Google Plus page. I couldn't find a Google Plus page for you. So then I started looking at other places of where you, I saw that you had a Facebook link at the bottom of your uh, website. So I wanted to see um, what your Facebook page looked like. So first I clicked on your Facebook link and uh, you know your page came up. But then I noticed that if I put a space, let's see if I can do this, between fly life and between fly and life to search for fly life fitness that way, then I get this site that comes up, fly life fitness which is not yours. So you have a very, so that's a challenge that there's a very similar site. It's in 732 area code. And I can't remember where that is, 732. Sounds familiar. But anyway, so you have a very similar uh, company that uh, is doing personal training. Um, very similar name the, the, to what you have. So then I went into one of my tools that I can put in your, your domain name, flylifefitness.com, and um, I can do a, I can have them actually go through your website and extract keywords that you would probably be trying to rank for in the different search engines to see um, kind of how you're doing with, with the different, because you're not indexed, you're not ranking for any of them. But there's some good, the number of, these are the number of searches per month. And so you can see that some of the, the words that you're using in your, um, in your website are actually um, uh, getting a lot of really good searches. So, like, um, here's one that's particular to Colorado Springs. Lifetime Fitness Colorado Springs gets 4,400 4, searches per month, and you've got that on your website, so you could easily be ranking for so when People are looking for Lifetime Colorado, Colorado Springs. Um, you could be taking advantage of that and have your website come up along with Lifetime's website um, when they do a Google or a Bing search. So anyway, I just wanted to, um, it's a little bit, it seems like a little pre pretentious to, uh, to send you a video, but I wanted you to see what I was seeing on my screen um, so that you could, uh, you could take action and go fix that. Um, so the way that you start is you go to Google My Business. And you see where it says free business listing on Google. You go in there and you sign up. Um, and you, um, you basically go through the whole process of, of signing up. And then you have to submit a site map. And there's, um, there's several steps involved in doing this. Um, the other one to go to is Bing Business, Bing Places, bingplaces.com. And you can get started there. Um, so that's the first two steps that you really need to take. The other thing is uh, that I would do is I would start looking at um, doing business directory registrations. Um, I can tell you how many you need uh, based on I can do it. I can use I have another tool where I can tell you how many business directory citations other local um, personal trainer uh, businesses have in the area. Probably you're probably going to need about 200 business directory registrations, and then you need some more backlinks to get your trust flow going. So we can get this number up by just going in and uh, and and having people with uh, high authority sites or um, related uh, topic sites link back to your website, um, showing the search engines that you're the expert. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you. If you want me to help you with this, we can figure something out. I'm happy to do it.
Thanks. Bye.